This is the talk about Boost Union, and the first question is, what is Boost Union? To keep it short, Boost Union is a highly configurable theme for Moodle 4. It is officially published on moodle.org slash plugins, and the theme's name is based on the union of our three organizations who are doing the work of Boost Union. Who these organizations are, please stay tuned. Uh, you will hear it shortly. But first, let's look at the numbers, and we are quite proud of these numbers or figures. Um, since the initial release of Boost Union, the number of installations has raised constantly, and at the moment we are standing at a number of slightly more than 1,500 installations, which makes us quite proud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nadav. So, who are these uh, organizations? First, it's Moodle and Hochschulen. It's the German word for Moodle at Higher Education Institutions. It's an association representing more than 50 higher education institutions in Germany with more than 900,000 students. Second, it's Lernlink. Lernlink is a full service Moodle provider located in Germany, Moodle partner, sorry. Uh, we are doing uh, everything about Moodle LMS, Moodle Workplace, um, as well as Big Blue Button hosting and the iSpring suite. The third organization or institution behind Boost Union is BDecent. BDecent is an amazing Moodle plugins manufacturer, and BDecent is providing many ground, ground, play, uh, ground play breaking, sorry for that, Moodle plugins for the, uh, for the Moodle community. BDecent's plugins are either free or freemium. So what makes Boost Union so unique? When we started to work with Moodle 4, we had to face two facts. Fact one, Boost in Moodle 4 still doesn't provide much control for admins, unfortunately. The fact number two, there are great uh, third-party themes out there, but all of them change Moodle's look more or less um, when it comes to documentation, when it comes to support materials, and you have to explain to your users what's different in the official materials and your Moodle installation. In contrast to all this, Boost Union's major design principle is everything is configurable and everything is disabled by default. Which means on a plain Moodle installation, you won't notice any difference between Boost Core and Boost Union. And going on from there, you have plenty of theme settings at hand. You can enable only the theme settings you need or the features you need and do only the UI changes you need. So much from me. Let's get over to Luca and the look of Boost Union. Thank you very much, Alex. The first thing I want to highlight is the login page. You see that here the login prompt is put to the left hand side instead of being centered by default. Also when refreshing there is a whole bucket of background images and one background image is taken randomly. In the course page there's a possibility to add the course image as banner. And if you do so, you have the option to decide whether the course title is above it, under it, or superimposed as in this example. Your activities also can easily be branded so the background image uh, color matches your corporate identity color palette. Similarly, the emails that will be sent out automatically in case of some events can be branded as well and for example be equipped with a custom footer. The scroll spy feature means that when enabling or disabling editing mode, the page scroll stays at the same po point and does not jump back to the top of the page. Some versions ago, the back to top button went omitted and in Boost Union, you have the op option to bring that back easily again. Users are often not aware that the special status the page is in and with course hints, you have the possibility to let banners show different things. For example, the fact that you are changing your role or also the fact that a course is hidden. Depending maybe even on your legal regulation, it can be mandatory that a link to the imprint is always shown without a previous button click. This is where a permanent footnote comes in, as you see, because that question mark in the circle footnote does not suit this need. Furthermore, alongside this, the option to add static pages, for example, for this before mentioned imprint, is built into Boost Union. 
For your start page, you have the possibility to configure advert tiles. Those contain an image, a link, a title, and a button text, and uh, the link that you are referring to, of course, when you click it. You have the possibility to configure up to 12 advert tiles, and also to set them start and end times in which they should appear. Speaking of temporary or permanent user interface elements to the theme, info banners also fall in that category. You are able to configure different info banners which also can be timed and there's the possibility to specify whether they should show in course pages, dashboard, login page, and site home, or in the profile page. Flavors are the next thing we implemented and that is what they do. They alter the style sheet you give out, thus you have the option to show some pages in a different style, even though using the same theme, Boost Union. Flavors can be applied to cohorts or to course categories. In this example, this course shows the BFH flavor, whereas in the subsequent page, there is the LearnLink flavor. The block regions feature allows you to customize the layout of your Moodle site. We provide in total 13 block regions because we like blocks. Some of which are more apparent, as you can see in the footer below. Others are hidden behind the nine dot menu and we call them the hut, the heads up display and provide you a means to place blocks at the click of a button. If you want to see the full extent, turn editing on. And once you've enabled all those block regions, because obviously none of them are enabled by default, you have to enable them per page layout. You see them, actually you see not all of them here, there's more, but that didn't fit on the page. For every block region, we have a view capability and an edit capability. So you can have block regions, which you can view, which are safe, teachers can't change them. And there are others, which teachers can edit, and you can have and ensure a consistent look and feel across your site without the block being on the one side in one course and in the other block, in the other block region, the other course. One block region in particular which I like to use is the upper content block region, which is located above the course contents in a course. So here we've added the upcoming events block to the course contents because nobody wants to miss Moodle Moot. Smart Menus is a feature which lets you customize navigation in Moodle. With lots of features, but I'm only going to mention a few of those, you can customize the main navigation in Moodle. You can add things like the courses that you're enrolled into as a student in the current term which you have not enrolled, for example, or those that are in a specific language, or those which, I don't know, whatever you need, really. There's lots of conditions that you can use. If that's not enough, you can customize the user menu and add additional menus in there. And obviously, they won't only show if you have the role and the capabilities to see that. If that's not enough, you can use a menu bar to add even more navigation, which usually is used either for administrators, which need easy access um, but shouldn't clutter the interface, or it can be used for things that are outside of your Moodle site, like the website that you have, or maybe the library, or whatever else you want to link to. For mobile, we took special care and introduced a bottom bar, which gives you easy access to the most important pages, thumb navigation as we know it. And also this becomes a little bit more powerful once you click on the more button if you have access to enough pages that re, um, cause a third item to appear. Um, and obviously the user menu is always visible from there. All right, so how can you get involved in Boost Union? First, visit Boost Union on GitHub, of course. You can create issues there, participate in existing discussions, and feel free, feel free to contribute your own Boost Union improvements as pull request, but please create an issue first and discuss, discuss the user story and the feature uh, request with us. Of course, uh, Boost Union contributors get credits in the readme file. This is the readme file which exists today, and thanks to all contributors who have spent their time, money, or code to Boost Union. So, to bring this to a close, this is a short presentation. We have skipped several topics. Um, you can read them here, but now the time is over. Thanks for listening, and please post your question or tell us your questions. Thank you very much.
Right, before these lovely gentlemen run off the stage, does anyone have questions? We've got about five minutes or so. Just a question about the, the new uh, block IS. Um, um, can, uh, can they be used as target for uh, sticky blocks? Which kind of block? Sticky. Yeah. If you add a block from... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in, in your theme, do you have a, a kind of a place to inject custom CSS like a lot of the Moodle themes uh, have? Like if I wanted to just create some CSS and change some of the elements and style them myself, is that possible? Um, first of all, Boost Union is a child theme of, Mo uh, of Boost in core, which means that all features which are in Boost in core are still there in Boost Union, so you can add custom CSS like you can in Boost core, that's not a problem. Um, additionally to that, you can use the flavors feature to inject custom CSS per cohort, per categories, and we have a concept in our heads and in our drawers to allow you to inject even more custom CSS, for example, on request by a user to realize something like dark menus and other things. Um, yes, one more thing. Um, if you want to customize or brand the H5P activities, regardless if it's the third party plugin or the Moodle core integration, you can also add custom CSS for H5P. One more? Uh, uh, hold on, just wait for the mic. <laughs> Thanks. Um, very impressive, obviously. <laughs> are you uh, planning on having a complementary course format that goes with the theme, maybe? Something special? Well, technically, it's not a complementary course format for a Boost Union, but in general, a course format which we provide, which we will make sure that always works with Union, obviously. That's called the designer format that is brought to you by us. Okay, thank you. One more minute. We have one more minute if anyone has any other burning questions, as I'm sure these gentlemen would be happy to answer them after their presentations. Or, or else I will ask you something. Who is a Boost Union user? Or Ooh. Thanks very much. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs>